What's up guys, it's Charles here to do another review. Today we have Transformers Autobot Strategist Prowl. Uh, this is a knockoff, not the genuine G1 of years ago, but a knockoff from uh, China. And um, uh, like I've done with my other reviews on knockoffs, I usually do the uh, repro labels with them. This is no exception. Here it is, uh, repro labels Prowl decals. Since I can't stand using the, the uh, knockoff stickers, I will use Repro ones. So we'll go over that. First, we'll unbox the Prowl here and see what's going on with this knockoff. And then, you know, take it from there. So, first, we'll start off with the box. Here is your typical knockoff G1 box. Uh, you know, it looks like a genuine, but there's stuff that. We'll uh, make it obvious it's a knockoff. Not that I know offhand exactly what it is, but there's usually uh, spelling mistakes. I haven't read any of this, but I'm sure something's spelt wrong somewhere. As you'll see, it does say 1984 Hasbro Bradley Incorporated, made and printed in Japan. That is a big lie. This is not made and printed in Japan. It's a knockoff. So, that's the box. Let's go ahead and take a look inside. All right, inside is your typical knockoff little baggie here. That's resealable. It's got the instruction booklet and some goodies in there. Then it's got this little card here, which I've gotten in all of them except my wheeljack knockoff. And then you finally have the figure itself. You'll see it's in its little blister pack. That's only an illusion because I actually make a flat back here so I can always stick it back in there when I want. Alright, so now that we got that out, we'll set Prowl off to the side. Move his box away because we're going to take a look at this little baggie here. See what's inside. So we carefully peel this open so we can reseal it later. And let's see what we got. It's the usual. Stickers, missiles, guns, instructions. Alright, so here's the instructions. It's a nice little printed booklet. Uh, nice paper. And here's the crappy stickers. They look like they're foil stickers, but I think when they get wet or just through age, they end up getting really sucky. So don't use them. And here's the door stickers you got the I don't know why it, these are all cut up but you got your little rub sign thingy there which works you can see it changing color there and you got your tail lights and what else we got we got this little red thing which I always show you guys if you've been watching my reviews it's for the back here in case this is your first review of mine so you can check out the back this one's not so clear uh, a lot of them are printed with a gray line back there which is invisible with the naked eye sort of and not too much different with the red on there so pretty much garbage wheeljack was pretty good so check that out and here's the instructions this picture here looks scanned well actually all the pictures look scanned because they probably are scanned off the original same thing, proof of authenticity, which is BS, collect and save, stuff like that. Then you got your chrome missiles here, which, amazing chrome, check that out. These do not look like knockoff missiles at all. These are very, very nicely chromed. Same with the gun, very nice chrome. No chipping of chrome anywhere. Very nice, check that gleam out. Then you got your little shooters here. So I just want you guys to take a look here a second um, so you guys can see what this looks like without stickers. It's pretty much plain. And while we have this guy stickered less, uh, I'm going to go over paint apps and overall build quality. Um, right off the bat, it's not too bad. It's got your usual chipping of the paint on the windows, a little bit of overspray, crap like that. Um, you got your die cast rear end, front end. Uh, here's your underside which is made out of pretty good plastic the wheels do have rubber tires 
uh, got the clear red up here and I don't have a genuine prowl to uh, compare it to but I do have blue streak so here they are side by side uh, they're pretty similar because they are the same mold uh, minus the, the police lights there you'll see the bottom here the uh, what do you call it the licensing and all that is a little bit different because one is uh, just Takara here and this one has uh, Hasbro and Takara but uh, overall it's pretty much the same it's not an identical mold which I'm glad I have uh, these two to compare now you'll see the difference in the uh, pin length here and let's see what else and just little little stupid details I mean it's pretty much identical just very slight differences see the circle here it's not there you know stupid things like that but uh, overall it's pretty much the same thing so what I'm gonna do now so what I'm gonna do now is get this stickered up check it out with stickers so I will be right back okay um, I stopped in the middle of uh, stickering up well not in the middle I just started but um just wanted to show you, show you guys how cool the repro labels were uh, this is the side without the repro label that's what the paint looks like and the repro label here attached it gives it a nice uh, because it actually replaces the black they, they don't just do the police part they do the whole basically the whole door so you'll see it's got a nice nice gleam to it a little on the matte side um, what's great is they actually use vinyl so it contours really nicely you'll see here there's a lip so the the sticker has contoured really nice around it and it sticks very well this the adhesive is great so anyway let's get back to stickering alright guys and I'm back uh, after a few minutes of the stickering process and here he is all finished up looks uh, tons better so, uh, move this guy around press this sticker down so you'll see the stickers came out rather nice so not too bad uh, the only thing I had to leave off the little emblem in the middle there because there's no like point that comes up the black point like on the Japanese police cars that was left off for some reason so I'm probably just gonna paint that or make a little black sticker headlights are on and I guess at this point we are able to check out the robot mode finally so it's very simple uh, pull this down bring this around pull this apart the only thing is uh, it's a little hard to pull apart gotta make sure the feet are folded out before it actually splits and you'll see the pins here are already rusting so you might want to oil that up so it doesn't seize on you at some point and zoom back a bit and just keep going with the transformation process pretty simple pull the arms out then rotate the lower half around bring this down right, and bring the back down and there you have the head so just it's just a process of just straightening up all the bits and there you have G1 knockoff prowl and here he is with his uh, shoulder mounted missile launchers which do not stay on well at all uh, I can't even get them to stay on see they just pop right out so they're pretty much useless but at least let's see if they do shoot the missiles I'm using are the G or the normal G1s so see how eh pretty lame and aside from the uh, shoulder launchers not even staying there you can forget about using the included gun it will not fit in that hole you probably have to file down the chrome um, and I tried to put in the genuine G1 gun in there same thing didn't work uh, but let's just while we're at it compare the molding of these two and you'll see that the knockoff actually has superior chrome but then again the genuine uh, has seen a lot of uh, play so it's not really a fair comparison but 
it's a good thing to know if you want a really nice chrome gun. I don't know if you guys can see that, but right around the edge of the uh, the head, there's some plastic flash, which I'm going to end up cutting off with this little blade. So, no biggie. And here's the two mold partners together, so you can check them out. Very similar. Yes, yes, yes. But that's pretty much it, guys. There's a robot. And let me just spin them around for you guys a little bit so you can check them out from all directions. And you guys can decide if it's worth it or not. It's not as. I'm not going to say it's not as good as an old G1, but I mean, if you can't get a hold of a genuine. Uh, this is the next best thing and it's not bad at all you know it's got your normal little quirks here and there that a bootleg has but overall pretty nice uh, so that's it guys if you have any questions or comments leave them below bye